guys so you can see that we have one plus nine rt so what we'll be doing is we'll, uh, we'll be unlocking the bootloader and the process is uh, really really same as uh, realme and all just uh, realme has a deep test uh, that apk this doesn't have anything just only and you need to make sure that you have all your drivers like adb that uh, 15 second and usb driver so that you don't run into issues so let's get started make sure you have this developer options on and uh, allow oem unlocking you make uh, you have to enable it and allow usb debugging yeah this is also a setting you have to enable and once it's done we are done now we'll just connect uh, usb cable and check that our drivers are getting detected or not guys after uh, your uh, mobile phone setup is done like the usb developers things you need to have the latest version of platform tools i'll add that in the description and once you have it just extract it move it to directly here don't keep it inside any subfolder or something just uh, i'm doing it on my friend's laptop uh, just to make sure that uh, you have it uh, indirectly now just do cmd here now cmd will open type adb devices if you get something like your device okay it will start now don't worry now you will see something that to allow you just need to allow it and click on always allow and click on allow once it's done now you'll see that uh, list of devices attached now your device will show we'll run it again adb that's the command guys devices now you will see that our device has been attached now we need to type the second command so if your device is not getting detected then uh, you need to check your drivers so the next command is adb reboot bootloader that's what will be the command click enter and your phone will boot into bootloader interface just wait it will boot definitely don't worry don't panic you uh, can see his uh, tempered glass is damaged he has replaced his tempered glass thrice in three months so he is very careful with his phone now guys uh, we have uh, booted to fast boot but still let's uh, re-verify again we'll type this command fast boot devices yeah, ces so guys in previous video our fast boot was not getting detected so how you can get it detected I got it done so you just need to come to device manager and click on android device here and uh, what do we call it right click on it update driver then browse my computer uh, then click on let me pick a list then choose your android device here then make sure to install this android bootloader interface you just have to do it once and click on next and it will be installed and just after that you will see that uh, your device will be detected so now we'll uh, use the command of how to unlock this then we'll be done use the fast boot command fast boot flashing unlock so before your device gets detected this command will not work so make sure that you get uh, your device connected or detected whatever you call it now we will see the option here now use the volume buttons and the power button to select the option here guys this will wipe your data so make sure you have backed up everything because your data will be gone after your bootload is unlocked then only you can install a custom room so yeah use the volume buttons like uh, click down it is uh, ticked here unlock the bootloader now just click the power button and we are done yeah make sure the option selected unlock the bootloader it's done click the power button and boom just wait it will boot and it will okay this thing will be there okay even my device also has it where is my device yeah my device is here let me reboot yeah, yeah just uh, it is restarting wait i have a realme device with me you can see both are almost same like i guess the tempered glass is also same for both uh okay you see this uh, message is here now my device will also have the same message you have to set it up again then we can proceed you see i also have the same message one orange state mm, yeah you know bye bye bbk electronics we have completely uh, unlocked the bootloader just set your phone and then we'll proceed with the installation of the pixel os on this one plus nine rt however there is no twrp so you have to use adp side load which is again a new thing not a new thing it's an old thing but twrp makes it easier this will be somewhat difficult than the lobby but it's easy it's doable 
so i'm giving my phone to my friend he will set it up and we'll proceed later on